do you know we humans spend more than 35% of our time every day caught up in self talk reflections and playing out the scenarios in our heads our evolution has enabled humans to become the only species on earth with the ability for introspection while this ability can be used for problem solving and making wise decisions using our past experience past decisions and so on but many times this introspection turns to chatter which is a loop of negative self talk but the good news is our brains are built with all the tools we need to turn down this chatter now tell me what is easier to memorize option number 1 is 800 520 6755 or option 2 8005206755 the first option is easier to remember right that is because it is only having three pieces of information while the second set is an unbroken string of 10 pieces this is a classic example of how our minds can only hold three to five pieces of information at a single moment and if there is too much chatter our minds tend to slow down dramatically in this video i am sharing two very useful tips from the author of this book tip number 1 is addressing yourself as if you were someone else i will repeat tip number 1 is addressing yourself as if you were someone else it can help you get some distance from the chatter see generally our chatter comes in the first person address which is also known as i talk for example we might think why did it why did i get so angry earlier or why i was so stupid i talk has been closely linked with negative thought spirals in fact one study found that the bouts of depression could be predicted by analyzing the frequency of i talk in people's facebook posts then you may ask what is the solution see a study conducted by the author it found that when people used distanced self talk that means they addressed themselves either by saying their own name or using second or third person reference then their emotional turmoil it decreased significantly so this using the 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 distance self talk it helped the uh, the participants in this survey in that study to do much better in terms of managing their chatter chatter so this was step 1 which is addressing yourself as if you were someone else now second key to get take away from this book is sharing your feelings actually make you feel bad i will repeat second key, key take away from this book is sharing your feelings actually make you feel bad now you may find it bit surprising right let us understand this a bit more see when we feel bad we want to feel consoled because that makes us feel safe and this is how we fulfill our emotional needs as well and when these needs are met our brain produces a whole range of feel good chemicals but the problem is to deal with chatter we not only need support we but we all but also we need someone who can help us gain some perspective on the situation unfortunately when we are in pain we tend to focus on on empathy over perspective and the people we look to for help they tend to go along with this they ask us for play by play of the situation offer uh, offering condolences and empathy but as we relate what happened we actually relive the negative events and we end up feeling worse 
So then what is the solution? The author says, the solution to this is to find supportive people who can make us feel heard as well and who can also guide us towards the solution. A great example of this balance was created by FBI for the hostage, hostage negotiations. Its strategy advises the use of active listening and empathy to build rapport and influence a behavioral change. Now, how we can use this solution? The author says, whenever you go to loved ones for support, look for those who help steer you towards a solution rather than encouraging you to stay focused on the problem. So this was the second key take takeaway from this book and its solution. So to conclude, I would say, no matter how bad your situation seems to be or how negative your thoughts get, things will always seem a little easier if you manage to put a bit of a distance between you and your chatter. You can do this either by reframing your thoughts or by changing your environment. And whenever you go to your loved ones for support, look for those who help steer you towards solution rather than encouraging you to stay focused on the problem. I hope you enjoyed this book summary. Do share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you and have a fantastic life.